It seemed like all of Jackson County was at C.H. Jones Stadium to watch their boys play ball. Jackson played for a 20th straight win, Walston played for a fresh start, and the Golden Rockets would not be intimidated. They brought out a strong running game immediately. Their first drive, 51 yards, capped by a Brad Miller touchdown, showed the Ironman D could be beaten. Wellston forced three total turnovers and capitalized from the start. Jackson's first quarter fumble resulted in a 65-yard Jalen Prater touchdown that put the Golden Rockets up 14 to nothing. When reliable runner Clay Arthur cut the lead in half, there may have been a sinking feeling in the hearts of Wellston fans. But the defense stepped up again with a third down stop and interception leading into halftime. The Golden Rockets racked up 158 rushing yards in the first half and held Jackson to 90. They relied on the same solid runs and third down stops in the second half. Prater's second touchdown contributed 21 rushing yards to a stellar 148 for the night. But Austin Osborne would not be outdone. He added a TD to his 101 yards rushing and 50 yards receiving. After the win, the Wellston players celebrated a victory that had not occurred in their lifetimes. And the meaning of this game is summed up best by those who are a part of it. Head coach Chris Hutchinson and running back Austin Osborne. That's all we've ever heard about. Streak, streak, you know. But, uh, you know, we finally got that monkey off our back. You know, finally after 19 years, uh, we started off 1-0. We work so, so, so hard to get a victory tonight. And it's just great. We got to do what we got to do every day. And we came out with a win. We kept our heads up the whole night. The victory bell rings loud and proud in Wellston until these rivals meet again. For Gridiron Glory, I'm Maddie Coon. Great